So when we get that initial diagnosis, it's a lot for the parents to understand and handle, and it's a really challenging time. And we're definitely understanding of that. We don't want to add one more thing to the family. Everything we do is to help the family and to help that student. So we may suggest 25 hours, but that's because we know that certain amount of hours per week will have a better outcome for the student. One of our main focus is to get children the services they need. So we work with our BCBAs. I work with them in supervision to talk about how do we talk to parents about this from the start? And then how do we maintain those hours over time until we get to the point where we can fade out, which is our goal always. Uh, but we really wanna make sure we keep those hours high to start, get the interventions going, and make sure the kids are making progress before we can fade they're going to be learning a specific amount of skills, they're going to be reducing certain behaviors during that time, and when that dosage is not fulfilled entirely, there's a possibility that the skill acquisition level is going to be decreased. It might be harder for them to master skills. They might not move at the rate fast enough that they need to to get to the, the goals that we're trying to overall achieve for them. Um, the recommended dosage is the recommended number of hours of intense therapeutic interaction. That's not different than a dosage of something on the medical side. So when we say to our families, this is hard, this is going to be intense, this is 25 hours of intense interaction with maybe a three-year-old, your little baby. Um, I say, put in the time now because dosage matters. I don't want everything in the kitchen sink thrown at these children. I want specific intensive intervention that is based on proper diagnostics and precision medicine. I also want them to feel comfortable that it's not going to be your child sitting at a table for um, 30 hours a week running one-on-one -on -one drills. A lot of it's going to be play-based, natural environment, you know, working around their natural schedules throughout the day, um, self-help things. So it, it's not going to be what some people, you know, think it's going to be sitting at a table for all those hours. Um, and that we're going to have fun. You know, it's part of our job to motivate them and to have fun while we're learning. And so, you know, that's really important for them to understand.